Russia. I'm Teresa Harding. I'm a founding presidential diamond with doTERRA. And for those of you who remember, when you came, we had a big retreat in Russia, hundreds and hundreds of people, and I just fell in love with you guys. You guys know that. I we, we wrote in your books. We had such a fun, fun training, and you guys have been going crazy. You guys have been building like crazy, and I love it. I love it, and I love Russia. It was so exciting to see you hit Presidential Diamond, and so it's just so fun to be with you again, and it makes me want to come back to Russia. What is your why in the terror is the common question for everybody. Okay. Okay, it's hard to talk about this and not get emotional. So my why is the people's lives who are changed. Like for me, it's exciting to help somebody with a cold. I'm not supposed to say those words. Somebody who has mild um, challenges with their health. But when there's somebody who can't sleep at night and they're starting to have serious problems because they can't sleep or they're having really serious health challenges and it changes their life, it changes my life. It is so powerful for me. And I feel like we have a mission. We have a mission that we have something that makes our life so much better that we have a responsibility to share it with other people and help other people in the same way that if I have a child and they're suffering in some way and I, I know something or I can help them in some way what am I of course I'm going to help them but when we have this and we just kind of keep it to ourselves because we're nervous or whatever or sometimes it's hard we just life is hard and we feel like we don't feel like it but you know what take a minute but then get a grip get a grip and go help people because that matters we have something that can change their life so for me, that, that makes a huge difference. And I will say this, I had, I used to just, I love the products, love the oils, and I would love helping people with the oils. But and, and the business wasn't as exciting for me. I mean, I was doing well and my team was starting to grow, but, and I was making money. Network marketing was kind of hard. And so I love talking about the oils until I had somebody on my team who joined my team and they were almost, they were going, they were facing bankruptcy. And their bankruptcy was not because of them. It was because his boss had put a whole bunch of things in his name and now all of a sudden they were finding out and the boss had left and they were going to have to be responsible. So they were gonna have to leave their school. The kids were going to have to leave the school with their friends. They were gonna lose their cars. They were gonna lose their house and they started doing doTERRA. And because of the training that we were doing within months, they were able to make enough to not only take care of their bills, but pay back all the stuff from their boss that was in their name. And they now are wealthy and they are doing awesome. And when I saw that happen and the wife was a real, well, they're both good friends of mine, but the wife is a particularly close friend of mine. And I watched and I watched how she felt so ashamed what they were going through. And she felt bad for her kids. And it was so discouraging and all the emotions. And then when that helped them out of that problem, I got a new testimony. And I, something changed in my heart about the business. And I thought, you know what? The oils change people's lives, but the business changes people's lives. And there are people who need the business and people who need the oils. And so that changed me. You are the legion, the legion in <laughs> Russia, because we know we, you open new marketing and we really don't understand how are you doing? Do you come to a new country and what are you doing? Just living there? How do you talk to people with different languages? How are you doing this? You are magic. <laughs> I think the biggest thing is you if you really love the people, it doesn't matter because you get translators and the translators can help people understand. But you know how sometimes, sometimes translators don't translate exactly how what you say. It's different, but people can feel what you feel. And I can remember, I don't know if you remember this, when I was in Russia, I fell in love with you guys. And by the last day, I told you guys this. Uh, tell me if you remember this. I said, I love you guys. And I said, when I first came to Russia, I was excited and I know you guys are awesome. But I said, do you want to know the reputation the Russian people have. Do you remember when I said this? I said, and, and people were like, ah, yeah. I said, this is the reputation you guys have around the world, that you are tough and that you are, you will not quit and that you are strong and that you can do hard things. I said, but something that I didn't know before was how much you love people and how much, how tender your hearts are. You are tough and it's like, don't mess with the Russians, but you are so 
good and so caring. And I said, I learned that about you guys. And so when you love the people that you serve, then the language doesn't matter. Other piece that I will say is when you're working with other countries, a lot of people, I'll tell you, you guys, I've been on the ground helping open over 40 countries for doTERRA, like doing classes, teaching people. Almost every single country we have open, they say, oh, you can't do it like that here. That that way doesn't work here because network marketing is different here every time. And at the beginning, when I was newer, I used to think, oh, okay, well, maybe it won't work that way here. Like we have a certain culture in doTERRA. But as the, the more experienced I became, now when people say that to me, I say, oh, no, no, this works in every country, every, every country we can create this culture. There are cultures where we go and it is dog eat dog. I don't know if you guys use that phrase in Russia, but that means it's like, no, you just go fight for what you want. And in network marketing, you go steal people from other teams and you are trying to fight for your thing. I had to teach them, no, not in doTERRA. We don't do that. And over and over and over, you teach them that. And pretty soon it becomes doTERRA the way that it's supposed to be. And so I would say, don't give up. Don't let them make you think that it can't be done this way in another country. It is. There are cultural differences and you have to care about that, but it absolutely works and it works the same way in every country. So what are your plan now? What are you doing now and maybe five, ten years further? What are you feeling inside? That is a big question because now that doTERRA is going so strong, it doesn't take as much of my time. And I have employees who take care of a lot of things so that my leaders are taken care of because we want to make sure when our leaders are hitting rank or someone on my 30th level hits a rank, I want them to know, congratulations, we're so excited about you. We try to make sure those things keep happening, but it doesn't take as many of my hours. And also doTERRA has become so, you know how you could do it in your sleep. You like certain things, you know it so well that you can just do it like that. So my goal with doTERRA is to help strengthen the teams. So for example, I can't wait to go back to Russia. We'll go back, we'll do Russia. We'll do a big, huge event. We'll do that in Israel. Our first trip that got canceled for COVID was in Israel. We had a huge event planned there. So I love coming to do those because a lot of times there are people who are elites or silvers or they're using the oils. And they didn't know that they might be interested to do the business. But when they hear, it's kind of like the one we did. When they hear how it works, they go, I can totally do that. Really? Wait, okay. So what was your situation? I was close to silver. I was listening to you. I just putting down your advices here and I was shocked why I don't do this. I was shocked because I didn't know this simple ways just to give simple, just to, to make classes, to make calls after class. I didn't do this. And I was trying to repeat only you. You gave us the guide, the printed one. Yes. It's still and with me. Yeah. And it's still with me and Good. put some things and it's like um, culture for me. <laughs> You taught me everything and I taught my team the same thing. They are growing up only because of you, you teach us. Really? Okay. Wow. So we're grateful to you and uh, you like a big star. <laughs> so I didn't. Finally. Dang. And I just have to tell you this. So doTERRA, that's exciting. One of the things I'm going to do for doTERRA is we're creating a website that will have an entire coaching program on how to build your team online. So you have what I taught you there, how to build online. I had started doing that uh, several years ago before COVID, but compliance made it very difficult. So now we're going to redo that whole thing and launch it and you guys will have the most um, it is powerful information on how to do some of the same things online but how to market online the way serious entrepreneurs do whether you have money or you don't have money so I'm gonna be launching that for doTERRA make sure we keep putting out trainings any new trainings we'll put that out but then I also have time for other businesses now so what I do it first of all we have a charitable organization we have what in the US is a 501c3 and so we'll be pursuing that but I also so I invest in mobile home parks because those are people who, because I have some time to do that. And now I have income that I need to try to protect my money with, you know, not pay so much in taxes, but also find a way to grow my money and make it more, much more massive. And mobile home parks I do because these are people who are trying to get their own home. People who maybe wouldn't be able to get a home and this helps them get a lower income house. And it's powerful because when the economy goes bad, we just have a 
longer line of people who need low-income housing. And mobile home parks are thought of as dirty and broken down and ugly. So we go in and we buy them and we fix it up so that it's somewhere people can be proud to live. It's beautiful. We make the houses beautiful so that people can, and a lot, some people will start and they'll be able to own their own home and then they move on and they are, they can go into a normal house. But the other thing I like about it is we're buying up land. We buy land. So for example, one of the parks we own is in Arkansas and it's 20 acres and 10 of the acres have a, a whole bunch of homes on them. The other is forest land. And the reason I'm telling you this is because you want to keep sharing doTERRA, helping people with doTERRA, but you also want to create a legacy and use that wealth to help more people and create more wealth. And some of the people in the mobile home parks are now interested in doTERRA when that wasn't, you know, the intention. But so I do real estate and I also do speaking. I go, I go do speaking events from stage that in doTERRA, obviously I do it for free. We just do that. But it's pretty high pay to go. They, they hire me to go speak. What I'm doing is I'm teaching, honestly, the same principles. Think about the principles that we teach when we're teaching doTERRA. We're teaching people to have integrity in their business, to care about the people they serve. We're teaching them the steps on how to grow their business. And so these are things that everybody needs to know. I want to make sure my doTERRA team is stable and that I'm still taking care of that. But then it's fun to be able to do some other things too. Hi, I'm Roxanne Bybee. I am a presidential diamond and this man's wife.